Metro Center in Halifax again filled to capacity more than 9,000 in attendance. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the World Championships. This city is still buzzing over the performance last night by Kurt Browning. What we're going to do this evening is have Tracy Wilson, Toller Cranston, and Kurt Browning sit down together. The three of them will take you through his championship skate from last night. Also tonight, it's the free dance portion of ice dancing, the big story being the DeShaney's, and there's a big story in the women's original program. Don't forget defending champion Midori Ito in real trouble as she is standing 10th after the compulsory figures. A big night in Halifax. Let's take you down to ice level, and here's Ted Reynolds. Brian, this could be an evening full of dramatic changes in both the competitions that we have for you. In the ladies, where the reigning world champions championship is very much in jeopardy, and in the dance, where there could really be some moves that we've not seen, that is, moves in placings we haven't seen in many, many years, Dollar. That's right, Ted. The women's competition is completely different from the men's. Why? Because there are only two serious competitors fighting it out for gold. Jill Turney, the American champion, is first in figures going into the original program, while Midori Ito from Japan, defending world champion, is a disastrous tenth. Ito's free skating is formidable, and like a hurricane, she can blow anybody out of the water. But Trenery has prepared for this, and I think she can weather even the most savage storm. What about the dance, Trace? Well, in the ice dancing event, Marina Klamova and Sergei Ponomarenko, the reigning world champions, are in a fight for their lives. And they're going to be fighting on their own because there is not a Soviet judge with them. Isabel and Paul Duchesne, who were the underdogs, now seem to be the favorites. But I believe in the long run, good quality skating cannot be ignored, and the best will come through. So what it all adds up to, I'm sure, is another evening just as exciting as last night or the night before, Brian. All right, Ted, as we're covering the women's original program, and don't forget tomorrow night, prior to Hockey Night in Canada, we'll have the women's free skate. But talking about women's figure skating, as we begin tonight, I think it is only appropriate that we go back and salute a great Canadian skater. Over the years, three Canadian women have won the World Figure Skating Championships. This lady, Cecil Smith, although not one of them, was without question the trailblazer. For 60 years ago, in 1930, she won a silver medal at the Worlds in New York City. 21-year-old Cecil set the Canadian sports world on its ear, finishing second to the brilliant Norwegian Sonia Henney. Now, a sprightly 81, she's still an avid skating fan and watches, whenever possible, the youngsters of today. I think they're better skaters today, really. But then, then to me, they're a little bit too much alike. Everything they do is if one does it, the other one does it. I really think we did spin better. But jumps, no. Absolutely no. I think kids are wonderful the way they jump today. We have to go in off a step to do our jump, where they get wound up round, 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 which is wonderful. We should have done it. And then leap into the air. But we didn't. We, we had to do some tricky little steps first and around, then into the... I think the best I ever did was sort of an axle and a half sort of business, floppy one. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> the young skater from Toronto came from an athletic family and appeared in her first of two Olympics in 1924 at age 15. Cecil and Sister Maud even had competition within the family, and Cecil didn't always win. And we weren't very wealthy. We were very poor, actually, and we... Uh, it was quite good to get a car ticket to get there. So we did appreciate it. And there was a nice old man called Cosset, and he used to flood the rink for us, especially. And that was about 5.30 in the morning. We'd take the streetcar down. Now, many, many generations later, following in the mighty footsteps of those great ladies of the past, here is Canada's exciting new ladies' champion, Lisa Sargent, just turned 19. She moved up from being third in Canada last year and skated very solid figures here, seventh going into this, her original program. this program to the 
program of Yamaguchi, although the content isn't quite as difficult. What I'm seeing here is excellent skating skills, beautifully landed jumps, high, sure, and with wonderful fluidity that comes out of them. This could be a top performance. here for Lisa Sargent is not just skating a flawless program, but it is coming into world championships as an unknown, landing right into the top ten and skating like a veteran. Standing ovation for her. Canada's champion Lisa Sargent and her marks are coming up next. Japan.